Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's the Fierce Zilla, and today, who do I have a treat for you all? Here, as you can see, we have the new wave of the Playmates figures, and it's a mix of both Godzilla and Kong figures. And here, from left to right, to start off, we have the new Godzilla mold, and that is from Playmates now, we have the 2014 Godzilla from the film Godzilla 2014. And here on the box, as you can see there, City Destruction Godzilla with Tank. And also another Battle Damage Reveal. Next, here we have Kong from Kong Skull Island 2017. And here it says, Ferocious Kong with Helicopter and Chain Propeller. Also, Battle Damage Reveal. And, last but not least, with also another new figure. Well, almost new as it's been out for a while, but in a new packaging along with the new wave. Here again, we have... Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong 2021. And here we have Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream. Also, Battle Damage Reveal. So, as you all are watching this video today, yesterday, as it was reported that these figures would be hitting the shelves, so Yesterday, I made the adventure of going toy hunting to see if I can stumble upon these in the wild. And you can find these figures all at Target for the time being. As so far, that that's where you are. That's primarily so far where they are popping up at, at your local Target for now. And as far as where I reside, it is in... California, where I found these figures. Now, I'm not too sure if anyone else from other states have come across these figures yet, but so far, as I reside in California, that also other fellow Godzilla fans are coming across them as well in their local targets. So, for the price of these figures here, they are each $9.99. And all together, they would be just these three, about roughly $32.99. So maybe between $32, $34 if you got all three together. So let's just take a look now at the packaging. So here... We have the new Godzilla from the Playmates line of the Godzilla 2014 version. And here you can see with their box being much more updated. So you got an image from Godzilla 2014. And also on the side there as well. Now let's go on ahead and check that backside. So there we go, the backside. So before we go on ahead and read the back, let's just check the other side. And yep, it is Godzilla, the logo from 2014, and the monster verse logo and of course you can also see the monster verse logo as well there on the side okay so right here at this top right corner it says the monsters of ancient myths and legends are real in battle for dominance across the world. Humanity's efforts to coexist with these titan 
sorry, titanic forces of nature is led by Monarch, a highly equipped organization of the bravest scientists, adventurers, and military specialists in the world. Now, humanity enters a brave new era of discovery filled with unknown dangers. And now here at the bottom left, you got Godzilla, City Destruction, Godzilla with Tank. Monarch, classification, Titanus, Gojira. Unleashing a devastating heat ray blast, a skyscraper, snapping tail swipe, and the ability to crush armored tanks like tin cans. Godzilla emerges from the dark and mysterious depths of the ocean as a towering apex predator to battle aggressors that threaten the balance of nature. And there you can also see at the bottom, the very bottom, you got Playmates Toys, you got Toho, you got Legendary, and you got the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter of at Monsterverse and the website for Playmates.com. All right, now let's see about this new Kong figure. So here is what the front of this new Kong figure looks like, and it's based off of the 2017 Kong, and specifically with the chain propeller from that moment at the toward the end from Kong Skull Island to where Kong uses the chain propeller to defeat the skull crawler at the end. So let's check our sides. So here you get another image of the 2017 Kong, ferocious Kong with helicopter and chain propeller. And other side you get the logo of both the MonsterVerse and the logo for the film Godzilla. Oh, sorry. Ooh, getting a little bit excited here, everyone. You got Kong Skull Island. It would be interesting if there was a Godzilla Island of some sort in the future. Monsterverse. In the Monsterverse. But anyway, uh, so now we have the backside here. And again, at the top right. Yep, as I'm just... Taking a little quick read, pretty much they are all, if you get the newer packaging of these boxes here, at the top right, they will pretty much all say the same thing. And if you don't believe me, the monsters of ancient myths and legends are real and battle for dominance across the world. Humanity's efforts to coexist with these titanic forces of nature is led by Monarch, a highly equipped organization of the brave scientists, adventurers, and military specialists in the world. Now humanity enters a brave new era of discovery filled with unknown dangers. Oof. All right. And in the middle, you get a very awesome shot of Kong using that chain propeller, also with the helicopter in flight before you know to your imagination gets knocked down it gets put in kong's hand which we will get to in a moment with the figure and the accessories so here bottom left here you got a picture of the battle damage reveal as to where the battle damage goes of that one piece and here now at the bottom right so here you got Kong Skull Island, and again, Ferocious Kong with helicopter and chain propeller. Monarch, classification, Titanus, Kong. The mighty Kong rules with, sorry, the mighty Kong rules his Skull Island kingdom with primal strength, unleashing a bone crushing barrage of seismic punches and a deafening alpha roar in combat able to improvise and wield weapons kong swings a massive ship propeller chain whip to tear through super species that dare to threaten his reign and of course same thing at the bottom there 
Now, for this Battle Mecha Godzilla figure, let me just do this real quick. So, again, if you haven't watched my review on this Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream already, let me see. It'll pop up right about now. So, of course, you can check out that video for a more in depth figure review. As today, we're going to be primarily more focused on these two new figures behind the Battle Mecha Godzilla. But, of course, we will take it out. Well, I have the other one there to show along with these with these other two figures but a little bit of a sneak peek of what i'll do is i'll probably make another repaint of this battle mecha godzilla but adding some lights and again also another previous video that i did what i'll do to this battle mecha godzilla i will do similarly to what i did to one of the other playmates godzilla and pretty much add lights like this. So yeah, that's pretty much the rough idea. Is just find red lights to attach to this battle bucket Godzilla. And again, here. With the... Previous packaging of Battle Monkey Godzilla is more of the Godzilla vs. Kong packaging. And here, you still get the logo from Godzilla vs. Kong. You get a battle damage reveal. And you have an image at the bottom right of Battle Monkey Godzilla with Proton Scream. And again, same side there. Just smaller. And the logo of both MonsterVerse and Godzilla vs. Kong. And now here, the backside. And again, top right, same thing, same description. Now for the bottom. So, you have Godzilla vs. Kong. Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream. Monarch classification. Uh, ooh, Titanus. Gojira. Hmm, interesting that that's classified as. I mean, yes, I know technically, like a Godzilla. The Godzilla part is in the name. But interesting. But anywho, let's continue. A robotic apex predator with unstoppable powers of. Laser destruction. Mecha Godzilla was created in secret to destroy Godzilla and end the reign of monsters and of course the bottom right there you get another image of battle damage reveal and of course at the bottom you have all of the playmates toys toho legendary and they're at for the monsterverse and the playmates.com website So now, again, before we begin, I know many of you will be eager to know about the barcode and such. So, here I am to show you that. Let me just make sure. Alrighty. Alright, hopefully that's a good shot for you all. And also here's what the bottom is, and pretty much they're all going to be pretty much the same, except for the barcodes. And now for the Kong. So when searching for these figures of the way of how they distributed them, so, and again here is for the Ferocious Kong with helicopter and chain propeller. All right, so uh, again, to reiterate what I was saying, so they had, when I came across them, I want to say maybe at most, um, between all figures, at least between two to three of each, 
So maybe because I think for the 2014 Godzilla, I think there was three. And then I came across two of the Kongs and then two of the Battle Mecha Godzillas. So probably that ratio, three Godzillas, two Kongs and two Battle Mecha Godzillas. And surprisingly, what else is popping up there at Target are now the Battle Roar Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong figures as well. So who knows what, whatever else may be coming along the way at your local Target for the Playmates figures. And here, ooh, and then you get at the bottom right of the Battle Mecha Godzilla assembly as well. And again, if you still haven't found your Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream, now is your chance to either get yours for the very first time if you haven't already, or if you're interested, like the way how I'm going to do it. This is my second one, and with my second one, again, a little bit of a repaint or just adding lights to it, like how I showed you of the Godzilla with lights that I added that were blue. So what I'm going to do is add lights to this one and just have them be red. But yeah, there's a barcode for you guys there. All right. And then let's just take a look at now all these figures out of their box. But wait, before we do, here's a quick little look at what the background of the new packaging looks like without the figures in the packaging now. So that's pretty cool of the packaging, I must say. And an interesting battle between not just Godzilla and Kong, not just Godzilla, Kong, and Mecha Godzilla, but also in addition, you have King Ghidorah and one of the Warbats. That's pretty interesting there. That's 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 cool. And again, also too, for a disclaimer here, they have the top right for a warning, which I will say out to you. So here, warning, choking hazard, small parts. Not for children under three years old. And for the age here that they even have at the bottom, it says four years and up. And we will get to that in a minute with showing the accessories. So let's go ahead. A moment. You've all been waiting for and three, two, one. All right, everyone. So here we have all the figures from so far of what I've shown so far out of their boxes now. So here on the right hand side. You know, you have the Battle Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream. And again, we've pretty much done a review already, as I've said before. So we will go on ahead and just focus more on these two figures that we have right here in front of us right now. So, where to begin? Hmm. Okay, well, let's... Let's just go on ahead and start off with Godzilla.
All right, everyone. So here we have the 2014 Godzilla. And with the accessory that it comes with, it comes with a little tank. As you can see right there. And don't worry if I don't get it to where it's so in-depthly, trust me. Towards the end of the video, you will get a much more, probably better, close-ups if I'm not doing, well, too much of, you know, not too well on giving you good, on giving you guys good close-ups here. But do not worry, you guys will get those close-ups if they aren't good right now. <laughs> but that's besides the point. In other words, here again, with the accessory that comes with this Godzilla. There comes a tank. And the tank, it can rotate as well at the top. So, yep, you can rotate the tank. Alright, let's go put that to the side there. Now, the Godzilla 2014 figure. Or, I should say, the City Destruction Godzilla. Now, to start off here, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this figure. So, there is assembly required when it comes to your Godzilla Playmates figures, as primarily it's just the tail, so all you gotta do is Pop it on and just make sure to wiggle it around to ensure that it's secure. And yep, its tail is secure on there. And with the rotation of the tail, you can rotate it all the way around a full 360. Now with the arms here. So on this side. So here you come to that little problem there with the leg. And the arm being in the way of each other. So let's see if it can rotate all the way around. And yep. It passed through. You just got to lift. Each time when you want to. Swing it all the way around forward. Or all the way around backwards. Now let's see on this side. So pretty much we've established that the arms. They can rotate all the way forward, all the way back. But what's interesting here is that with the body's posture, so you'll notice that he's kind of doing with the MonsterVerse version of Godzilla here, where this Godzilla, we kind of rec recognize that he has that pose of where he looks like he's always about to turn and do something cool right after. So. That's where I kind of recognize this pose is where he's it's like, what did you just say? Kind of thing. <laughs> but with this arm now, the left side, again, you run into that similar problem with the other side of the leg being in the way. But do not worry, you can lift it up slightly, rotate it all the way around, and just do the same thing if you want to bring it this way. Now, probably best to leave the arms up, as now we're going to see how much of the range of motion is in the legs. So, you got the rotation, and I'm pushing it all the way back there. And that's as far as this leg can go. Now, how about all the way forward? And, yep, that's as far as that can go there. Now, for the other side, and it's a little bit... The proportion of like how the legs are, you know, this one's more forward, the other one's more back. So let's see how far it can go back. And oof, that's as f yep, pushing it just with a single finger, and that's as far as that can go. How about for ooh, and all the way forward there, that's as far as it can go. All right. Now, last but not least, here we have now 
the mouth. So now with, with the mouth here, let's go ahead and check that out. So all the way up. Yep, all the way closed. So I guess that's probably why people were going a little bit uncertain of the way of how when the mouth looks when it's closed. Like sure, because some, yeah, it may not look so good but hey look at him now look at Godzilla now with that open jaw but yeah I kind of see the point there why some may not like that with the mouth so why not just go ahead just, just leave it open just leave the mouth open Boom, that solves the issue there. Now, since we're here at the face, so he's got, hmm, just want to see one thing if they, and nope, it does not look like that there is a hole underneath. Yeah, so usually with the Godzilla figures, it was common from the Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates line, considering that, well, with all the Godzillas, they were pretty much all the same sculpt. And underneath, on the top jaw, that there was a hole that you can add for the heat ray accessory. But it seems, whoops, it seems that for this figure, that there is no hole underneath at the top of Godzilla's jaw for the 2014 version. Which, I mean, it's understandable. Because considering that this was the first time that we've seen Godzilla return in such a long time. And that with the atomic heat ray that he had, he was much more, I guess you could say, developing at the time. But as far as with, you know, the texture of the figure, well, you could assume, yep, if you already have your Playmates Godzilla, it's going to feel roughly about the same. But the only difference now is it has more of that accurate Godzilla 2014 dorsal plates there on his back where they are much more smaller. And I guess you could say not, again, developed as we've seen in Godzilla King of the Monsters, to where at that point, they are much more larger over time that, well, even though it was a short span of time that happened between 2014 to 2019, if also the movie took place in 2019, but I hope you see my point where I'm taking that, is that, you know, crazy, but again, understandable with the whole storyline of that and with how with Godzilla spending time in you know part of ooh my memory there uh part of an ancient room there that allows him to regenerate from a battle that damages him and that he needs really the time to heal But yeah, so as far as with the colors here on the paint job of this figure, on the dorsal plates, they are painted of an orange color with a mix of black there. And also the same thing as well with on the front side of as well, as you would see on the figure, if you were facing him like this in front of you face to face. And Godzilla does have a little bit of that orange there on the arms, if hopefully you guys can see that. A little bit there. And, of course, the orange eyes as well. 
Yep, and the tail there. All right, so one last thing before we do move on to the Kong figure now. So you get the battle damage on Godzilla. And there we have it. Comes in with this battle damage piece there. And you can see underneath that that's where the battle damage reveal is at. And again, to go on ahead, put that back on. And there you go. All right, let's take a quick look at... Actually, how about we do this? I'll do this all in parts here because I see that we've kind of have a lot already within this first video here. So for today, you guys get part one, a part two, and a part three. So stay tuned now for part two as now we conclude on this video.